Hello boys and girls. Today you're going to be learning how to convert a larger unit of measurement to a smaller unit of measurement using multiplication. For example, if we want to change feet, which is a larger unit, to inches, we're going to use multiplication. If we want to change pounds, to ounces, pounds is a larger unit, ounces is a smaller unit, we're going to use multiplication. If we want to change a mile, which is a long unit, to how many yards it is equal to, we're changing a large unit to a small unit, so we're going to use multiplication. Or we may and we are going to change a mile to feet. So again, we're going from a larger unit of measurement to a smaller unit, and we're going to see how we use multiplication to do both of these things, to do these things. So first, you're going to need a conversion chart. This is called a mathematics reference sheet. You should all have one. If not, take a look at this one, and this is going to help you with solve all your problems to solve your conversions you're going to use this one, pounds to ounces, you're going to use mile to yards and mile to feet. But you may need this conversion chart, you will need this conversion chart when you work on some of your problems in class and some of your homework problems. Let's begin with our first problem. Our first problem looks something like this. If you have 15 feet you have 15 feet start that again 15 feet and you want to change that to how many inches okay first thing you need to do is know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. There are a couple ways to solve this problem. First, you could make a number line. It would look something like this. One foot is equal to 12 inches. Two feet would be another 12 inches. That would be 24 inches. Three feet you add another 12 to 24 and you have 36 inches. 4 feet would be 48 inches and so on till you got to 15 feet which would equal 180 inches. And you could solve your problem that way. You could also make a table that looks something like this. Two columns at the top of one you have feet, at the top of the other you have inches, and you could start to build your chart. One foot equals to 12 inches. Two feet, another 12 would be 24 inches. Three feet, another 12 inches would be 36, and so on again until you got down to 15 feet and that would equal 180 inches. It would take a lot of time, but you could solve it either way, either using a number line or making a chart. Um, an easier way to do it is to use multiplication. Since you are going from feet to inches, you're going from a larger unit of measurement to a smaller one, you can use multiplication. You can set up a problem like this. 15 feet times 12 feet 12 inches and multiply it. 
2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Cross out the number in the 1's. Put a 0 because now you're multiplying in the 10's in the column. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1. If you add all of this up, you would have 180. So I solved my problem using multiplication by saying 15 feet times 12 inches and that would equal 180 inches. The next problem looks like this. How many ounces equals 54 pounds? In order to solve this, I'm going to look at my conversion chart and my conversion chart tells me that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So with this information, I can solve this problem using multiplication. But I'm wondering if you noticed something very interesting about the way they set this problem up. Pounds is the larger unit of measure. They put it on the right hand side. They put the smaller unit of measure on this side. I think they're trying to confuse us. But we're not going to be confused because we can still see that they are going from pounds to ounces. And I'm still going to use multiplication. So if I know that one pound is equal to 16 ounces, I'm going to set up a multiplication problem that looks like this. 54 pounds times 16 ounces because I know that one, a pound, one pound is equal to 16 ounces. Let's see what 54 pounds would be equal to. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry the 2. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 2 is 32. Cross out this and cross out the number that I carried and place a 0 in the 1's column because now I'm working in the 10's column. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 5 is 5. Now I can add these two up and get 4, 6, 3 and 5 is 8. My answer is 864 ounces is equal to 54 pounds. The next problem is going to ask is asking me to do two things. It's asking me to change miles, a larger unit, to yards. Then it's asking me to change miles to feet. So if I look at my conversion chart, there are two pieces of information that I need to solve this problem. One is that one mile is equal to 1,000 760 yards. The other piece of information I'm going to need is that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Now I can solve my problems. So let's change four miles to how many yards first? Once again, it is a multiplication sentence. We'll set up a multiplication. We can say 1,760 yards in one mile. So we're going to multiply that by four miles. Four times zero is, four, is zero. 4 times 6 is 24, carry the 2, 4 times 7 is 28, and 2 more is 30, and 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. So I can see that I have 7,040 yards equal to 4 miles. Now I'm going to work on this last part. Four miles equals 
how many feet. Once again, I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, so I'm going to use multiplication. I know that 5,280 feet equals one mile, so I have four miles, so now I must multiply this by four. Four times zero is zero. Four times eight is thirty-two. Carry the three. Four times two is eight. And three more is eleven. Carry the one. Four times five is twenty. Plus one is twenty-one. Place my comma. And I can safely say that four miles is also equal to 21,120 feet.